fighter that has stepped in the octagon in the UFC has, you know, shares one goal and they want to be the champion. They want to be proven to be the best in the world um, in something we've dedicated our entire lives to. So this is uh, the cream of the crop, you know, the, the top of the mountain. And, you know, I'm embracing all of that. You know, I understand that this, it's pretty much all or nothing right now. You know, I'm 33 years old. Um, it's been two years in between when I lost for the title and my, you know, second chance to attain it. And I understand that that's the case now, um, even more so because of, you know, again, I'm 33 years old. There's so many young, hungry athletes in the UFC in this division, most exciting division in the UFC. And yeah, to be crowned the champion of that would mean everything to me. Oh, that was nice and easy. I like that. Let's go get this video up. Yeah, you know, over a 14-week camp, there's going to be times when, you know, things seem slow. And, you know, those days specifically, I really have to take control of everything. My emotions mostly, my thoughts. And I really have to just remember that if I'm imperfect today, it's not necessarily detrimental. Um, 25 minutes in time on May 7th is all I'm preparing to be perfect for. You know, and I'm um, willing to make the mistakes now so that when I get to the fight night, I, you know, champions do not make mistakes. And I want to be a champion, so I cannot make one mistake. Let's go. Yeah, keep it. Keep it. Yeah, keep that. Keep that. Feel great. Um, yeah, we're 11 days from fight night. Last sparring session. Coach, don't let me spar on Friday no more. So yeah, just timing, you know, a little bit safety, but you gotta prepare for war. So trying to jump, take some livers home today, boys. What are we doing after this? We're running. And then ice bath. So he's got to run. It's not going to be crazy hard. It'll be like a tab and uh, treadmill. Yep. There'll be a tab on the treadmill. We got ice bath, but he's only got four rounds today. One round of ground and pound. Uh, and today is not like full gas. It's it's more just working on timing and making sure we're finding shots that are clean and uh, uh, being 
very sharp mentally uh, today. And then also trying to stay away from any type of injuries. So we're, we're healthy as shit right now, and it's been a great training camp, and we're ready to go. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't bring it down, I'll be getting loud. You can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your f***ing cloud, it be raining now. I keep making sound, go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now. Yeah, it was, it was great seeing him in his last session uh, yesterday, but we, our last session was a little different than pretty much throughout camp. Throughout camp, it's like, hey, it's conditioning, it's barring, it's conditioning, and we're, we're planting seeds and what we need to do. And then yesterday was pulled back a little bit. Like, we only did four rounds, and then we did a little bit of ground and pound afterwards. Uh, and then he finished with the run afterwards, but it was more of just, again, tightening up. Like, we're past the hard workout, so, you know, it was kind of unique to see him pull back a little bit and just find, you know, clean shots. Uh, and, you know, you're used to seeing, you know, Justin go out there and, and be a wild man. You know, he's always sharp, but just his pressure puts on people. So he got to pull back just a little bit yesterday. So it was exciting to watch, but I'm excited to see him in that octagon breaking someone's will. And there's nothing, nothing greater than watching what he does to, to people from a conditioning standpoint where he can get their heart raised and Justin is the best at causing people to make mistakes, and I really can't wait to see him causing Charles to, to make mistakes. Hey, good. Hey. How you doing? Sean. Hey, Pete. Don't go to the days out now and it's been great you know I uh, even if things aren't great you have to lie to yourself but honestly it's been you know no speed bumps just about 14 weeks of work now and um, you know after I fought Chandler I knew that this opportunity was on the horizon and I went right back to work I didn't take you know two three four weeks off like I usually do I was right back in it and yeah I think um, that's probably a huge reason why I feel as confident as I do in my preparation. I think, you know, I think with this platform and, you know, the human ability to understand how real and how dangerous and, um, you know, how many negative thoughts um, you know, all the pressure, all those things, um, you know, can make a human backtrack and try to avoid those situations and try to hide themselves from those feelings. And I really love every piece of this game. As, as real as it is, as dangerous as it is, um, the amount of pressure that comes with it, it's something that I've, you know, embraced from a child through now and to be able to fight on the biggest level on the biggest stage um, I have the ability to inspire people across the globe in one night you know when I knocked Charles Oliver out there was a satellite image of energy cast from this globe it would be a, a pop um, of inspiration and that's um, ultimately what I'm here for last day come on we gotta push this this pause Balls at the tree right here. There's no way. It's wonderful, dude. He beat it by 30, uh, 34, so yeah. Almost 40 seconds, 45 seconds. But he surprised me. It sounded like he was disappointed. That was how I got a best of it, yeah.